My name is Jason Moore. I'm a professor of genetics and community and family medicine here at Dartmouth. I also serve as director of bioinformatics at Dartmouth Medical School. And I'm a computational human geneticist interested in determining whether our genes predict our risk of common human diseases, such as cardiovascular disease and cancer, for example. My specific project is developing algorithms and software for identifying combinations of genetic and environmental risk factors for common human diseases in large population-based studies. Dartmouth now has what's called a Selexa DNA sequencer. This is a high-throughput DNA sequencing machine, sort of what we call next-generation sequencing, for sequencing large pieces of the human genome. Each run on that machine generates a terabyte of data, which will fill an entire hard drive on a high-end computer. That's just a single run, and we plan, of course, on doing many, many runs on this machine and processing that data through the Discovery Grid. So the goal of the Discovery Grid project is to establish a grid computing framework here at Dartmouth College. And a, a grid is basically a collection of computers at, at disparate sites that are working together to solve complex computational problems. Now one of the long-term goals of this project is to expand uh, the grid to other institutions in the state of New Hampshire and other institutions in Vermont and Maine to establish a regional computing grid. The, the Newcomb Institute uh, plays a very important role in all of this by providing the, the infrastructure and the resources to get new exciting projects like this off the ground. Uh, without the Newcomb's assistance, uh, developing this regional computing grid might otherwise not be possible. This is an exciting time to be a human geneticist because we now, for the first time, have the complete human genome sequence, all three billion pieces of information available to us. And not only that, the technology is available now to measure variability in the sequence between different people from around the world. So for the first time, we can now sift through the human genome to identify genetic risk factors. So this is a very exciting time, and I think it has a lot of potential for uh, unraveling the, the complexities of common human diseases. Modern human genetics would not be possible without computational studies. Uh, the problems are inherently complex, they're high dimensional, we're dealing with massive mo volumes of information. Uh, computer science and com computational studies plays an integral role in every aspect of human genetics now.